legislation that could bring millions to the state to repair some of those dams. Target 12 consumer investigator Susan Campbell joins us now with the new details. Legislation which was sponsored by Senator Jack Reed has already passed in the Senate. A local organization says extra funding for dam improvements, whether it comes from the feds or the state, is necessary to protect Rhode Islanders and the state's natural, re natural resources. There are 177 high and significant hazard dams in Rhode Island. According to the DEM last year, there were 41 in unsafe condition. Only seven of those were fixed. By definition, if any of those dams failed, there would be probable loss of human life or major economic loss. Enough is enough. Jonathan Stone is the executive director of Save the Bay. He reached out to me after my report aired in October and alerted me to another potential issue facing Rhode Islanders if a dam fails. Behind the dams, in many situations in Rhode Island, this sediment that's locked up behind the dam is contaminated with heavy metals and other toxic chemicals. And if a dam ruptures, uh, those sediments wash down the river or stream and ultimately end up in the bay. So he says one possible solution is to remove dams rather than repair them. It's counterintuitive, but you reduce the risk of flooding. You don't have the potential for a breach. You eliminate the cost of maintaining an old aging structure and you improve water quality. Senator Jack Reed says he's also concerned about unsafe dams. He sponsored a bill that's already cleared the Senate that would provide hundreds of millions of dollars to rehabilitate high hazard dams nationwide. Rhode Island, we would stand to receive about $700,000 the first year and in over 10 years, $5 million. And we certainly need the money because there are dams now that are getting close to being uh, uh, threatening to the populations around them. Senator Reid says he's optimistic that the bill will pass in the House because it had bipartisan support.